you name the duties of the custodians here at WHS? Okay, well, for one, they have to, like, fix desks and, like, chairs when they're working. They, like, vacuum the classrooms after school, uh -huh. take out trash, um, and they clean the, clean the erase boards yeah. when they don't say safe. Um, they basically just clean up after the kids, mm -hmm. just make sure the school's clean. Katie, do you know how long it takes each custodian to clean the cafeteria in between lunches? Um, probably about like five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. I'm going to say about six, seven minutes. Six, seven minutes. Evan? I'd say five. Five minutes? Hi, I'm Lily Thompson, and something you probably didn't know is that between every lunch, the custodians have exactly 60 seconds to wipe down every single table in the cafeteria to prepare for the next lunch. So, as an experiment, I'm going to try and see how many tables I can wipe down within that exact same time of 60 seconds. So, Addie's going to time me, and we even have some um, trays set up as examples of when people leave their tray. Within 60 seconds, I was only to wipe down 10 tables, and the custodian's job is to wipe down all of them, including this cafeteria, in that same time. I do have several stories of custodians that have become friends with me, custodians that uh, I've just been able to talk to as they were working and I was working after school. Uh, one other young man, came in and it was when I was in this room, he was cleaning my room and just happened to mention that he was born in Jerusalem. And I was so excited because I've always wanted to visit there. So I started asking him questions and he was here, we talked every day, shared back and forth and kind of shared our faith back and forth. Um, and he, before he left, came in and he actually left them on my desk when I wasn't here, but brought these beautiful candlesticks that kind of, they're, they're rounded and they have the city and the important spots from Jerusalem on them. So something that I've kind of cherished and I sent him with some books to read. custodians ask, and I think they ask permission um, from their supervisors, if they could come into our classrooms and, and just listen to our kids speaking and, and learn some English. And so I had three or four of them in my classroom, and I also kind of set them up with some of my ACP comp students so that they could just practice speaking some English. So it was a, a lot of fun. Hey guys, I'm Addie, I'm a senior, um, and this is Aaliyah, and she's a junior. And we um, are doing a project right now for Mass Media, and we're calling it Custodian Appreciation Week. So we have a lot of custodians at this school who don't really get recognized. So what we're going to do is we're going to appreciate the custodians. 
that do everything for our school. They're super awesome. So on the count of three, you guys are all gonna say thank you with so much enthusiasm that the custodians are gonna to wanna to wake up every morning and come and serve you. Okay, you ready? Don't leave me hanging here. One, two, three. Thank you. Like in the morning, West Hill High students are so awesome and they just wanna get up and really serve us. So on the count of three, louder than Mr. Vanell's class, one, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you.